I'm exhausted. We're almost there. I'm gonna put oil, water, crank it. Hello and welcome back to the channel. This week we're going to be tackling this timing chain on this BMW. We're going to try and get through it. It's a massive undertaking. Be warned, it's a bit of a technical episode. I hope you stay with us. Okay, so I've got the car on the jacks. I pulled that bottom cover off. But there is a mountain of oil that's caked up here. So it obviously has a leak somewhere at the tap cup gasket. So that means I'm basically going to have to send it outside for round two of cleaning because I don't want to get stuck in with all of this oil around. Okay, so round one of cleaning is done and it's already a massive difference. So I'm going to get in there now proper, throw a bunch of uh, soap on there and let it soak. Much cleaner. So it's out, now the fun can begin. All right, it was a bit of a struggle, but um, this is really where we're getting to the meat and veg of this little cupcake. So looky, looky what I found in the sumpy sumpy. So what we're looking at here is bits and pieces of the, the timing chain guard. There's a piece. There's a piece. So this is normal apparently for these timing chains they and the guards they do stretch and they do break um, even the tutorial video I found the guy had broken bits of um, timing chain guards so it seems to be normal the good news is that there are the, there's no funny bits in the oil in the bottom of the sump so really happy about that otherwise just a just a dirty nasty job but I think we're starting to really get into the meat of it now
Alright, it has been a hectic day getting all this stuff together for this car. Uh, we've been parts shopping the whole day. I'm still not done. I need the Vanos bolts that I'm getting from the agents and a couple of other small things. But for now, we have the following. Valve cover gasket or tappet cover gasket. We have a fuel filter. We have obviously the timing chain kit that needs to go in. Uh, sump gasket. The Vanos solenoid seals these were leaking very badly so that's going to fix a major leak this is the front main seal this was also leaking really badly so that'll fix that the tappet cover gasket or valve cover gasket was leaking at the back here so that needed to be replaced um, both of these pulleys this is the idler pulley and this is the tension pulley, pulley for the serpentine belt both of those were toast. I couldn't get the pulley without the tensioner, so I had to cough up and buy the tensioner as well. Oil filter, air filter, and obviously oil. So, like I said, it's been a hectic day getting all this stuff. My goal is to have this thing running tomorrow, which is Wednesday. I'd like to do a test drive in it. There are still two small things that will need to be replaced. First, want to drive the car, make sure everything's sound on the engine, and then to that before our first uh, track day. Wow, what an adventure this has been. So, just to recap, I need to lift up the subframe, hang the engine again onto the on its engine mounts, bolt it all tight, put it on its wheels. Once it's on its wheels, we can put oil in it, um, put water in it because of that water pipe broke. And then we can try and start it. So, we're almost there, almost there, home stretch now. Man, what a journey this has been. I'm caked in crap, full of grease, I'm exhausted. I just want to get this thing running, man. But it's, we're almost there. I'm going to put oil, water, crank it. Let's see. The last time it started was in limp mode. I don't know if I'm going to have to try to clear the codes or whatever, but we're just going to have to figure it out. Oh man, oh man, that is so good. Still got a issue with the brakes, don't know what that is. Headlamps, that's fine. Oh yeah. Alright, thank you guys. That's going to be a wrap for this episode. It was ridiculous, the amount of work that went, went into changing that. I did manage to get it started as you saw, uh, but it is still in limp mode, so I'm going to have to go and clear all the codes. I've got a mate that's going to help me with that. Uh, hopefully that's the only issue. We'll see and find out in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.